Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Natalia with you, Love Craft Forever. And today we have super exciting unboxing uh, because this is something that I was looking for a while and it's made me excited because I almost sure that I will love it. Uh, if you follow me on social media that you probably already saw me flush in some kind of box that arrived in my house, right? And this is the cross stitch for today. It's a European uh, company and if I pronounce right guys, this is Letty Stitch LTD. Um, let, I would say Let I Stitch, um, but I will show you the website and you can read it for yourself because I'm afraid I pronounce wrong name. It is European from United Kingdom, this box came to me and let's open up and see what's inside i probably let me bring camera down so we can see good and i think that way you will see better what's on the inside and i'm super excited and uh, let's just start better if we can just take the okay it's actually easy way to tear apart this box First, I already like the way it's packed in a box, so it should be everything nice and safe. Oh my goodness. Wow, okay, let me just check box. Okay, it's empty. And guys, this is the name of the company. I would say Let I Stitch. How would you um, pronounce this name? Let I Stitch? Let I Stitch. I would say that's how it is. Um, and this is website that uh, I believe they do have accounted no like this is mostly it's accounted cross stitch but also I think they do have a printed area I'm not sure but we will go on the end of this video to the website as always when I um, when I review new website i always like to go to the computer and show you website how it's look like have to navigate so you can see everything and this is i know that this is new items that they added to the store Be beautiful ballerina that is just like oh i love it as being a dancer myself guys this image is always warm my heart and make me feel like i'm getting taller when i watch dancers so let's see what we have in here. I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to show you catalog a little bit because this cross stitching is so hard to pick one because they are all absolutely gorgeous. Look at those winter images, so many details absolutely stunning and look at those two canvases of the ballet dancers who love horses oh this is actually a unicorn let's see what else we have here oh i love catalogs guys you do know how much i love catalogs they has to be in crispy condition with no fingerprints I mean this catalog is very awesome survive shipping so I will have to make sure it's go into my folder and protective sheet so when I want to play with it and look those images over and over um, that's what I'm gonna do I love catalogs it's books magazines I love it so we have in here two cross stitches Thank you so much for shipping this to me because they are gorgeous. And yes, one of them, ballerina. Oh, she is stunning. She's stunning. Um, let me open so we don't have a glare. Oh, I see some pretty threads in here. Wow, that's making me excited. And I see already that the threads we have in here, anchor, okay we have to see everything so here it is our 
image I will try as careful as possible but let me turn to me so I can tell you it's actually their address in here and website also guys you can see them on a in uh, on the Instagram so it's Weigert canvas we have Aida or well, I say Aida Aida it's a, like a Ada in English you would say uh, made in Moldova it says on this one colors 31 10.5 by 12.5 inches skill level for this one it has three hearts of five so I guess medium um, and what kind of either that is wow that's a lots of uh, woo, lots of printed sheets of the look at this it's like a whole booklet so we have a whole bunch of sheets and the wow this is gonna be so easy to follow guys I'm just gonna show you um, one page like this I'm not gonna open all sheets to show you how this look like uh, to respect company and protect them from uh, copywriters so I'm just gonna show you this little piece that there is such a clean print they will be very easy to follow pattern and this is a count stitch and I purposely wanted count stitch because I love challenge myself and that's why so we have in here I um, Zweigert canvas and we have one one big eye needle to go with it and this is I believe or 16 or 18 um, what kind of hold on guys I would love to see what kind of Ada that is Ada Ada 16 count okay I thought because it looks like you know smaller than 14 I kind of I can recognize now uh, but yeah here is the another image and in here we're gonna have cross stitch cross stitch even five threads wow I never had that before half of cross stitch uh, back stitch back stitch five threads wow lots of different stitches in here wow that's gonna be amazing that's gonna be amazing and here again this gorgeous gorgeous image she's so elegant like a I feel always like they are dancing on a cloud so easy uh, in my life I went once to the ballet dance uh, concert that was uh, Romeo and Juliet I think it was ballet oh my god guys I cried <laughs> because the way they dance and tell story you feel like you read in a book or you watch in a movie everything interpreted in dancing moves to the life it was amazing I was crying seriously when they died so let's see those beautiful threads oh my god they are so unique let me bring you even more close to me and maybe later on when we're gonna go to the computer I will show you the threads a little bit on a better light now what I see here they already have a symbols which is amazing I did not have this before so I really appreciate and the threads are beautiful so we have in here uh, threads let's see uh, threads, threads, threads. A anchor or anch anchor? Have you, have you? I say, I say an anchor. The threads. So they have already pre-marked with the symbols that you have to follow in your look, look as look. Yes, on your canvas I love that and this is the special threads in here uh, silver like it's like a glittery uh, oh, I don't even know is this is like a one thread let me see oh no you have to 
looks like it's separatable that's interesting I wonder where we gonna stitch with this one probably somewhere on her dress maybe <gasps> so pretty oh my god I'm excited first time got some you know special threads lots of big bulky color of this beautiful and and you see how elegant those colors all so beautiful gonna be to blend because they are close to the shades uh, with each other Luca Luca name so this is amazing I'm loving it um, yeah so by looking on this canvas the picture gonna be pretty much big if we open this piece to see okay let's see usually they do have like you know um, extension of the canvas a little bit so it's, it should be pictured somewhere like if we look sideways maybe from here to here so that that's good I like it the canvas looks nice and clean because one time I've received canvas from other company and they did have a little stain and I believe that was stained from the threads that remember it was kind of like a yellow color uh, this one looks nice crispy white which is beautiful let me just put needle back so I don't lose it so the image name call 901 ballerina letty 901 ballerina letty so that's what I, they uh, like a short name in here from the full name letty uh, ballerina wonderful oh guys I'm so I'm so excited first of all I I saw this image on their website I saw this image on their Instagram and I'm just like oh, I, I I love it I love it let me just see if I'm not missing anything I want to see what is in here okay we have in here in different uh, languages with the email to the company so this is just a dear buyer thank you for your choice and we shall inform you that Luca S offers a guarantee coupon of its product uh, by which is guarantees the uh, sufficient quality and quantity of materials for set, from sets um, only if you follow the instruction we will take the responsibility for any the lack of production and we are ready for cooperation with you to solve the problem so yes and that, no that's nice if you have some problems so you don't have a threat uh, I'm sure they will resolve the problem but uh, so far what I heard about them um, there's everybody happy they looks like it's a really really good company guys and I am super excited to try them and there's the other uh, I didn't see that this instruction in here actually for all the stitches that we will need to do um, or this is actually just show you how to start how to finish uh, how to secure your thread which is nice to have for the, for the beginners it's nice uh, I will read this more carefully by myself if I miss it on anything and we will um, if I need to give you some kind of update later on I will do when we will start on this image to work on it and I, I hope I will start as soon as possible um, I will do the list of projects that I would love to start this year because looks like lots of you are interested into it and one of these cross stitches we will pick and start as well so hopefully in the comments you can tell me which one image would you like me to start for you so we can have more review okay I will fix this later now here's the another one and 
as you can see we have array of colors look at this colors guys can you guess what this could be Ta-da! <laughs> who don't know yet that I love cottages cottages it's my dream for years and years to have one unfortunately I do not own any cottage yet but hopefully that dream come true will come one day to me and hopefully I'm still can walk on my own feet without buggy <laughs> so anyway I will pull out this image and show you more closely because this is stunning uh, what got me in this image it's the colors um, the cottage the, the roof it's so beautiful the lights inside of this house there's a little pond up there uh, those beautiful flowers the cherry blossom tree the rocks you know all those details how beautiful this is gonna be look like and knowing this company I know it's gonna be probably tons of backstitching and backstitching that's what makes any image come to life so I think this one will surprise us with the backstitching as well and let's see again we have the same thing Swigert um, 16 count I think I think it's the same thing I think I pick both of them with yes yeah, 16 count and we have with this image we have 58 colors that's a lot of colors and obviously the skill level in here one heart more so here we have a four hearts of difficulty so this one is definitely more going to be challenging and you can see all up there the size of the canvas the threads the colors okay so this image called cottage pond Mm, so beautiful wow I I love it already just 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 to look on this picture I already in love uh, but let's see it's the same white Ada or Ada how would you say it we have another same kind with the gold end of the needle and this canvas looks much bigger so this image will be 16.3 by 13.1 inches okay so we're not gonna open because obviously uh, this is just a white plain Aida or Ada but what I want to see very nicely and it's the threads let's see if we can find something uh, more special threads or they're all kind of the same um, DMC's okay so again we have a symbols to each one but make sure remember if you if you start to to pick thread like from the top don't mistake and accidentally look on a symbol under this threads for example because it starts from the top so remember if you going after this color there is a top symbol will go with this color it's very important if you're not sure just count like this you know with this symbol with this symbol but it's always symbol gonna be on the top of the color so let's check colors itself okay now you can see the right color when my camera got a little bit darker this is beautiful brown lots of greens of course in here and look at the shades of those greens there's lots of them and they will see like just on this one we have one two three four five shades of green you know how beautiful they're gonna be a blend together oh love it and there's another green color in here very bright one probably will go somewhere with the flowers there's the pink cream another brown lots of pinks and this one so mm, I don't think 
anchor. No, I think I worked before with this kind of threads. They sure are beautiful colors. It looks like it's like when I look my first um, first look that I think this is probably gonna be more than enough. Uh, more likely will be even lots of leftovers because it looks like you know first of all it's a lots of colors and I don't think anybody complained yet about this company for not having enough so it's really important to kind of start as soon as possible to test it out um, this company and how this gonna look like how threads will blend together the colors are so bright in here and beautiful Oh, love, love this too. This probably too will go like, you know, and our flowers in here and this kind of shades in here. <gasps> so pretty. Oh my God, I'm over the moon. Now we have the same thing on the other side, have to stitch, right? But uh, what I wanna see, what kind of stitches we have with this beauty. Let me zoom out a little bit back for you to display. Oops, sorry, kind of my light rain shaking. Okay, so the threads, it's a eye candy for adult. That's what I call them. Beautiful, beautiful image, right? Awesome. Um, now let's see the pattern in here. Again, we have a humongous pages. Like, look at this, when I open in here, here's the one page, it's huge. It's like, it's a big pages and it's lots of them it's lots of them so it's going to be very easy to follow and you know when you stitch you use your marker maybe highlighter and yeah i might be gonna use yellow highlighter that way i still gonna see what's under and let's check it out this printing very clear beautiful beautiful i'm kind of showing you upside down here nice so it's going to be easy to follow and it's lots of pages in here now i would love to see what kind of stitching we have to do in here all oh, the beautiful dmc list in here look how many Woo! lots blocks symbols cross stitch all by two threads Stitches, back stitches. Uh huh. So, do we have in here? Okay, here is in a few languages as well. Instruction. Oh, it's even have here Ukrainian as well. Okay. Let me find the page. It should be probably maybe in the inside if we have those um, stitches printed out like in how many we have to do. Doesn't have... Okay, so maybe... Okay, maybe it doesn't have it no stitches and back stitches so obviously they have them okay we will check this out when we're gonna go and drill this because maybe this image doesn't have a back stitches I don't know but we will definitely check more close when we're gonna stitch okay I think it's beautiful thank you so much which one you love the most give me a comments and we will start on one that you like it now let's go to computer and check out the website just a quick guys I uh, change um, position of my camera close to the window and I think it's a much better light now so we can see a little bit more better the beauty of this uh, cross stitching canvas picture is amazing and because it's a lots of light 
uh, from this particular cross stitching uh, you can see in here more proper colors of the threads and that's what I wanted to show you because it was a darker kind in the room didn't have enough light and now let me just put them proper way because it's upside down uh, and now we can see better all this juicy beautiful colors so from far look like this way you can see more natural if I bring in more clothes then it's light getting darker unless we're gonna experiment with you and bring you more close to the canvas okay see how focus is working on this camera when you bring in clothes the color go more brighter and right now you see colors exactly as I see them natural colors with this natural daylight it's hard to do sometimes when I record video with the ring light and downstairs I have to do that because the room really dark it does disguise um, colors the true colors and now you can see the purity of these threads as they are beautiful beautiful so I thought uh, let me show you so you can see the true color in here because they are very very beautiful if we can go close maybe this way it's stunning and I really love the idea that they already prepare with the symbols to each color that's a very very good future um, and I'm really happy about that that I don't have to do it beautiful so and now since we have an awesome light I will show you also to this beautiful ballerina that I'm absolutely thrilled to receive. Oh, I love dancers. Every time when I watch ballet on TV, I feel like I go taller. My neck automatically go tall and long because from so many years dancing, you kind of have this habit that stuck for you forever and then <laughs> you just do it automatically because the dancers if you dance once it's always gonna be in you uh, she just a pure uh, joy to even look on this picture okay and here it is the colors also we have a beautiful colors with the true shades right now by the window and that's what I wanted to show you I think they are beautiful lots of browns and here's the huge amount and look how they look shiny they look very smooth I think those uh, crosses will lay down on top of each other so beautiful you just want to touch them it's just it's so soft um, and this is love really interesting that I showed you before now maybe we're gonna see a little bit better color that's exactly how it's look like and if I look in here on the back I would love to see um, no I don't think you're supposed to separate them I think it's you stitch this as as one thread because obviously it's a if you look this way it's like a lots of them in here I don't think you have to separate them so I still need to read the instruction how to work proper with the threads and then you can vote for me which one of these two cross stitches you would like to see first to be a uh, work in progress uh, if you like more bright or you like more elegant uh, please comment and I will be thrilled to start with you uh, but I just will need to count first of Ada to make sure I find the proper um, usually I start from the bottom right corner of my cross stitch and go from right to left uh, if you like to start from the middle it's very easy you just have to find a center 
off your canvas and usually what you need to do is fold your canvas right in the middle in half like this right you fold your canvas in half then you fold your canvas in half again just make sure it's like nice and straight and this point will be your middle of your canvas so when you open you know you start right in here your first cross should be here if you like to start in the middle so it's a you don't have to count the borders it's kind of like an easy way but I usually like to start from the corner so I don't know yet how I will end up starting this cross stitching and you can let me know how you usually like to start from the middle from the left uh, top corner or from the bottom I would be interested to see uh, your um, techniques and how you are doing it uh, and now guys let's go to the website and I will show you how it looks like you can see the different variety of cross stitching there is a beautiful uh, gallery up there where you can see finished project already so if you not sure how image will look like finished you can definitely can see an art gallery and that will give you idea which one would you like to order better so uh, let's go to computer now let's go to this beautiful website let i stitch uh, the way i pronounce if you pronounce this <laughs> differently please let me know but here is the website it looks really clean very elegant and uh, they add in new and new styles of cross stitching all the time so it doesn't look like they have like a lot yet but let's see the new kits that they just arrived recently and here is the new stuff that they just added to this website and i absolutely love ballerinas uh, as a dancer it's always so uh, I just it's warm my heart I love it uh, if you like it look this one looks like a vacation cottage um, it's just beautiful if you like the cities this is, looks like maybe a, a rainy scenes of the Paris um, yeah so and then if we go, we go in here and let's click on a landscape landscape and in here we're gonna find this image that i showed you in my unboxing very beautiful image such a stunning and um in here it's a leti 915 cottage pond 47.25 pounds um, and if you click in here hover over on the bottom you can see um, everything what's included in each kit uh, which we already saw there and doesn't looks like they have any back stitching in here so if we if you like some uh, cross stitch in here and my apology my cat is talking to me uh, if you like any in here you can go in here to the top that says gallery let's click on a gallery and you will see in here all the um, their cross stitches in here and then in here it's actually already it's loading slowly uh, already how they will look like when it's done so i think it's a beautiful uh, idea so you can see each cross stitch how they're gonna look like when it's already done so you kind of mm, you can see the future design uh, if you will like it or not when it's finished and in here on the beginning one of these cottages right in here right uh, all this and looks looks beautiful okay so uh, check out their stuff cross stitch kit uh, you click in here and then you look all the way around and if we click in here on the portrait people uh, we will see the other cross stitching from this 
a new unboxing and here is the gorgeous ballerina that Letta Stitch sent it to me. Uh, I'm so uh, thankful and appreciate and it's a 25.50 pounds L-E-T-I-901 ballerina. Uh, yeah, so I hope you like this video. I hope you like this unboxing. It's really beautiful, beautiful, elegant stuff. Um, and I think all of these three ballerinas would be awesome to have as a whole set. Uh, all three of them together in a matching uh, frames. I think it will be beautiful who like classic um, images. And if you have a piano next to it, it would be just amazing. So, okay, give me in the comments, please, uh, what do you think about this unboxing, if you heard before about this website, and I hope you will go and check it out. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in my next episode.